Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nose Rides and Nose Dives. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you an update on my build. That's right, my longboard, and just generally walk you through some of the process of the build with you. And uh, hopefully, we'll also be stoking you up and getting you psyched up for your next surf session as well. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. So first off, lately I've been doing a lot of sanding because what I did recently was I uh, finished doing the laminating, I finished doing all the fiberglassing and I gave it a hot coat here which looks really nice and the hot coat is the intention to actually fill in all the little, all the little gaps and the little little bumps and stuff like that and now I'm just sanding it all out and because <laughs> this is my first time build, uh, there's a lot of bumps on my board, it's, eh, I mean it looks beautiful, I'm really pleased with it but to be completely honest, uh, you know, there's a lot of little mistakes and stuff like that. So that's what the hot coat is does. It kind of fills in those gaps and evens it all out. Once you sand it all out, then the board is nice and smooth. So at the moment, here I am talking with some mates here, talking about the build. They build their own surfboards as well. So, you know, a lot to talk about, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, geeking out. And, uh, you know, just the whole process of building a board is like full circle for me. I'm having a blast doing it. And, uh, you know, it gives me a huge appreciation. I think everybody should build their own surfboard because, I mean, the huge appreciation from the amount of work that has been putting into building your own surfboard is amazing. There's just so much work, so many little things. And, of course, being a uh, first-timer, you know, there's a lot of extra work, I'm sure. So the next step of this build is uh, I need more resin. So I ordered some more from France. It's in the mail somewhere uh, in transit. And once it gets here, I will be giving it a um, an extra layer. And that layer, extra layer is, is what we call a gloss coat. And then it'll be light sanding and polishing it. And it is going to be beautiful. Then I'll be putting in the fin box and uh, putting in the... Uh, leash the leash hole as well and it is going to be ready to surf so i'm hoping in a few weeks time i've got a brand new surfboard homemade do it yourselfer and uh, i'm really looking forward i'm stoked i'm so psyched i'm looking forward to getting out there in the water with it and doing the first first ride and seeing how it surfs so uh, exciting stuff i've also ordered uh, this beautiful beautiful fin that's going to be it matched the board perfectly and uh, this wooden fin here I've ordered from over in the States and uh, you know at the moment it is in customs it's been in customs for a week and a half now in Denmark and that's how it is in Denmark sometimes they just kind of like you know take their time and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure they're having summer holidays as well so no complaints there enjoy your holidays and just make sure to get to my fin to me sometime soon guys Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, this update, and I hope you're feeling stoked, psyched to get out in the water, maybe even to attempt building your own surfboard, who knows. But uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys. And um, if you enjoyed this vlog, please be sure to hit subscribe, hit notifications, give the thumbs up, and check out this vlog next. We'll see you guys all next week. You.